There's a new batch of pine. Gotta go through and cut every last bit of it. Who's ready for round? What round is this? Who's ready for another round? <laughs> Toby's table. I got home early. Got and a nice fire started. Mama eating dinner at Toby's table. This is where we usually sit for dinner. Just for fun. That's right. Got home, Jared got home early and we're gonna get some stuff done here in a little bit. I like this. But first, it's dinner time. I like this. Say dinner time. Dinner time. All right, here we go. Pretty soon the ceiling is gonna be all pined. Are you flying your airplane high? Yeah. Yeah? Then high. Yeah, let's see how high you can fly it. Whoa. Boom. Whoa, that was a good one. Yeah. Bacon. First thing, Jared put some plastic up so that the asbestos is even more contained. I didn't video it, but I did clean the cabinets today and boy, were they horrible. I just washed the front sides and scrubbed them down real good to get all the grease off before I sand them a little bit for painting. And then I'm gonna do clean the insides tomorrow. But I think what I'm gonna do is do like a vinyl peel and stick wallpaper liner inside and maybe I'll do a pattern or a color or something fun because it's the inside of a cabinet. I think it'd be kind of fun to do something fun. And so I'll do that tomorrow and then it'll be time to start painting. I'm super nervous about it because I always hear horror stories about painting cabinets, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm also gonna make a separate video on how I'm going through the entire process so you guys can follow along and maybe gain some courage to paint your cabinet. Look how beautiful. It's practically like a dream house. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, I think that was pretty good progress for a Monday. Monday night after work. Didn't quite finish, but. But take a pixie. Yeah, we got lots done. The ceiling's nice too. Oh. <laughs> Oh, just this left and depending on what time he gets back tomorrow we might finish it yeah and then well obviously the wall part but as far as the ceiling that's what we got done Who but knows? I'm she ready might for just bed. finish it while I'm at work <laughs> just kidding don't set your expectations so high <laughs> I think All it's right. bedtime love though. you guys <laughs> are you tired <laughs> no, I'm just being weird <laughs> we got this is all we have left three packages so we're outside enjoying a little bit of fresh air it's still pretty chilly out here but Toby's playing for a little bit and I'm gonna cut these and get them ready to put up hopefully tonight and hopefully it'll finish the kitchen and we won't have to take a pit stop and get any more before we finish the kitchen off he is so hyper where'd you go bud He loves when we're outside together. He gets so excited every time. <laughs> he does this thing where he taunts Toby and runs super close to him.
are for sure gonna need more. So hopefully Jared gets off super early and can run to the store and get some on the way home. Can't believe we've already gone through that much wood. You guys are gonna be so sick of seeing us work with pine by the end of this renovation. Okay, so today my plans are to clean the cabinets inside, outside, really, really good. I already cleaned the outside of them, but I'm going to give them another cleaning and then take them off and get them ready and set aside for sanding them and getting ready to paint those. And then over here at the base of the cabinets, we didn't put the pine over far enough towards the cabinets and there was a big inch and a quarter gap. So I had to take a bunch of those off and stagger them and get them to... Um, at least go closer to the cabinet to where trim will cover the little gap that I left on purpose because I don't want to scuff the cabinets up putting those in. So hoping I can feel productive today and get some stuff done and then I'm going to go later on and pick up something off Craigslist and then tonight's church and then hopefully after maybe we'll go and get some more pine or something but here's hoping. Alright, I got all the hardware and cabinet doors off. Now it is time to put them aside and sand them. I'm not going to sand them today, but I will sand them. We woke up first thing, wanting popcorn. What are you eating? Popcorn. Hey, I can't see you. What are you eating? Stop it. Is it super stale? But it has great flavor. Huh. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Would you like some cereal instead? Mm -hmm. Hey, tell me what you're doing today. We have house. You're going to Addison's house? Yeah. And what else? I get go to the So you're gonna go get in his van? Yeah. That's a great idea. Are you still sleeping while you're eating your popcorn? Hi guys, so guess what? Jared had the day off today. Yes. He had to put in and request for it though because it's a Thursday. And tonight is the outdoor night with Chad Shear at our church and so I really want to be off for that but I also really wanted to be off for to hang out with my wife because she had a doctor's appointment today. So yeah. I wanted to go with her just so I was there with her for the news of another baby! <laughs> we just got out and a heartbeat looks good and it's a little little tiny peanut. We're October 2nd. Eight weeks tomorrow, eight weeks along tomorrow. So yeah, the due date will be October 2nd. But we are so excited and can't even wait. I can't oh. It still doesn't feel incredibly real yet, but it will before long, I'm sure. So now, but. what this is telling me, I've got, so how many, two? I've got seven months to get this house done. <laughs> seven months, and she can't help. So, there's, yeah, send help. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot that I can't do. Even yesterday, I was doing some things, like super minor, like cleaning the cabinets out. And then when I was done, I was just like, oh. I overdid it, you know, like, and that's so early in the pregnancy already. And I was told that with your second pregnancy or anything after your first, you feel all the symptoms, but stronger. And so that's going to be exciting, but, um, don't worry. I will be safe. I will be careful and I will only stand on ladders when I feel secure that I am capable of standing <laughs> on a ladder and I will not smell strong fumes. I'll be careful of all those things. Wear respirators. All that so why we got stuff. rid of all the junk before yeah. and now it's just putting things back together but that was our goal good. was to make sure all the dangerous things were out of the house before we got pregnant because i didn't want you know like 
the ground was saturated with cat urine and that's not good to smell when you're pregnant so all those dangerous things are gone and now it's just a matter of putting things back and so we got to kick it in high gear but i'm hoping for some energy soon but anyway <laughs> we're excited and so we'll don't... just keep you guys posted throughout the pregnancy so don't forget to comment like and uh comment below say congratulations and tell us just what kidding. you think boy or girl boy or girl <laughs> aunt susie did her famous little pencil <laughs> speaking of <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> whistling at aunt susie um <laughs> because that's what you do with your aunt, you was such aunt. Anyway, uh, so she did the test and apparently we're having Our a boy. Our truck's filthy, so we'll we can ride with you guys. But it's lunchtime with dad and yeah. auntie. Here for more pine. <laughs> so they counted out, how many good ones, how many bad ones? Um, 55 damaged ones, eight good ones. <laughs> and so we pay full price for the eight and half price? Half price for the... For the rest. That's a lot more pine to cut, but it's so. gonna look good. Kyle call. Me and Kyle Hunter's in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Back, got done with the outdoor night and it was wonderful and now it's time for this baby to have some ice cream and pie. Hello. Hey good morning. Morning morning. So quick little story. Last night we Wait. were don't interrupt me woman. <laughs> Last night Toby went off with my parents and spent the weekend with them so I thought you know what we need to go on a date. So we went on a date went over to the the treetop uh, restaurant right by Rainey's and uh, so we had ourselves a nice steak and a chicken fried steak and well ended up the uh, owner was there and met us and stuff we got talking and he's a super nice guy and he was asking where we just moved to and everything and I was telling him yeah we need to get some firewood because the stuff we got was super wet from this other guy he's like you know what? He gave us his business card. He's like, come over tomorrow. I'll, I'll hook you up with some wood. And we're like, oh, cool. So, that's where we're leaving from right now, but we got a truck full of wood. Just a good old guy. It's just so cool, like, to be a part of a, you know, like a smaller, I guess, community. I don't even know. But, like, it just feels super small town. The owner of the restaurant comes by, and he's like, if you need to know information about anybody, if they're safe or not, and he's like, just... Let me know and he's like i basically know everyone in this area and he's like if you need someone for hay i got a guy for that if you need someone for cows i got a guy for that <laughs> like all uh -huh. sorts of stuff so but. he's a big old bow hunter just like us and i don't know it was cool Super sweet. cool his, meeting him so yeah sweet guy we like him but he's he's got some cows and some little babies and uh he uh he offered to sell us a couple and i don't know that we're ready for him quite yet but um, he, he knows what he's doing, so hopefully we can learn lots from Monty, because right. he's a nice guy. He is. But, so we got our wood, and now we're gonna go home and- Unload it. Un unload it, keep it dry, yeah. and then uh, start working on the pine in the kitchen, get that done, and then we'll see what the rest of the day leads to. Hopefully my energy stays high, and feel good. But yeah, now our house can be warm because we have wood. Because I've been living every day in my Carhartt coat, basically. <laughs> Wow. 
happens when neighbors take care of you. Oh, I don't have it. Daddy's got it. Daddy's got it. Go see him. I don't think I'm even gonna need to wear my coat inside today. I took it off as soon as I got inside because it's already really warm. So we're in the house now, unloaded all the wood, and we're gonna discuss what to do today slash this weekend. And super exciting news, our countertops will be in Tuesday. Oh, I have this shirt on you. If you haven't gone and checked out Bow Addicts, you need to. Because Bow Addicts, it's the way to go. Yeah, this is one of my favorite shirts. Anyway, um, let's see. So we are getting our cat, our we are getting our countertops either Monday or Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday for sure. Yeah. Okay. So the goal would be so cool to get the ceilings and the walls painted before those came in, just so that it's like one less surface to worry about getting paint on. So we're gonna discuss. And as far as getting uh, the butcher block countertops right here, that was gonna cost just at. $328 just for the two of these, which I mean, it'd be worth it and it looks really good. But what I think I'm going to do instead is at Lowe's, they have pre-made, do you remember what fat, what material it was? Oak. What, it wasn't oak. Was it oak or walnut? Or, I don't know what it was, but stair treads that are just made ready to go. And I measured and they will fit here. So I'm going to use stair treads for the counter right here instead. And I might beat them up and stain them a good color because I'm not actually going to use this as a butcher block because I'm not going to stand here and put my head against the counter cutting stuff. So that's what I'm going to do there. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do with either faux wrapping or putting actual beams up. But we're going to figure that out right now. There's the new batch of pine. Got to go through and cut every last bit of it. Who's ready for round? What round is this? Who's ready for another round? <laughs> because I would much rather cut a long piece of wood than to cut every single piece of tile. And so we're just gonna leave a little leeway here and then when they do put the tile in after their three inch back spot is up, and then we'll put the tile up and then we'll just go ahead and put whatever wood that needs to go there. But I think it's time for a lunch break. Me too. Me too. While Jared works on some electrical in the bathroom, I'm gonna go ahead and put some pine on these smaller sides right here, and then under here, and then I might run to the store and get um, some stuff to finish the cabinets, like the stair treads and stuff. And so Jared's gonna work in the bathroom. I'll show you what's going on in there. The bathroom isn't necessarily the next project, but it'd be kind of cool to get the electrical done just so that we could put up the drywall whenever we wanted to. And so he's gonna start doing that, but let me show you. Um, regarding the tub and the sink. 
So this piece of tape represents the edge of the tub, how far it's going to stick out. So then this is the only wiggle room we have for a vanity. And so this is the one we got from Home Depot that was, or from Lowe's, that was um, only $40. So we went ahead and got it. And eventually I'm going to get some type of a small dresser or something. So I centered it based on the trim coming out to here. And that's how big that will be. The thing about the tub is it's five feet long. And if it butts up to the wall here, it'll come out to here, leaving this really awkward little space. But then if we center it, it might be better. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do as far as that goes. But we had to mark and get ready for the vanity so that we knew um, where to put the mirror and where to put the sconces. And so we're gonna try to figure that out. So we're gonna, so we're gonna go ahead and try to pick what we're gonna do. And um, so Jared can go ahead and put the sconce uh, electrical boxes in and go ahead and get those going. But those are our plans for the rest of the evening so far. I might run to the store here in a little bit. Um, but first I'm gonna work on that pine and he's gonna work on the electrical. The last little bit. How's it going? Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, folks. Glad you could join me on this fine evening. Working in the dark. The baby needed a break. No, she's not talking about this baby. Yeah, that baby needs a break too. I would think a massage would be relaxing. This is like. I think maybe lay back all the way. Like this? Yeah. That and then roll. Okay, so I'm so excited. I was able to sell a few things and use some money to get um, a patio set that I saw on Facebook Marketplace that I really liked. Um, so I was able to sell things. Actually, the Lord sold them for me. I always say I craft the items and God provides the buyers. So I was able to sell some stuff and I got brand new a patio set for inside actually. They are like a wicker rattan type chair and uh, I'm thinking they're gonna go in the living room. I'm not quite sure, but I really wanted to introduce a lot of texture into the house rather than a ton of color so much. So these will be perfect. I can't wait to see them. But they're brand new in the box. The people I bought them from just bought a big old shipping container of things to try to resell. And so that's who I bought them from and that's why they're brand new. Here's a picture of what they look like on the ad. I was wanting a mirror for the bathroom vanity and I kind of had an idea of what I wanted and so last night we were gonna go to Hobby Lobby but they were closed so we went to Walmart just to look around and get some things and I found one on clearance for $25 I'll show you what it looks like but I'm so excited look at there it has a nice ledge on it so I could put like little plants on the top or something but it is the wood element that I wanted to introduce in the bathroom. Isn't that lovely? I'm so excited. All right, folks. Another week down. Another weekend gone. Sweet. Back to work tomorrow. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Work is good. The way that came across when I said that was like, oh, well, you're not even oh, finally for another week down. That's not what I meant. I'm saying another week of work on the house down. And I feel like we did a pretty good job. It was a pretty productive weekend. Got yeah. the whole bathroom wired up, new electrical, mm -hmm. um, and hallway. Finished two, all two the outlets. pine in the kitchen. Finished all the pine in the kitchen. Bought a mirror for the bathroom. I'm trying to think of what else we did this week. No, it feels pretty good. Got the cabinets all ready and set up to start actually sanding. I'm so dreading it. I, can you tell? Can you tell I'm postponing it? Can you tell? Yeah. I'm just dreading it because you have to sand it, prime it. Paint it, sand it, paint it, sand it, paint it like six times. But it's gonna be good. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm discipline gonna myself though because I wanna do the tile backsplash so bad, but I'm not gonna let myself do that until the cabinets are done. And painted. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And then I'll be able to do that. But yeah, I feel like we did good. Toby was away with Granny and Grandpa this weekend, and I missed him so bad, but it was helpful being able to get some extra stuff done. I'm telling you guys. 
like being pregnant, I get tired so fast. I feel like that's nice that Was I can that say that. No, we already announced it. Did we? Yeah. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Surprise. But, like I feel like now that I can say that, like that's why I've been so exhausted and non-existent like the last two weeks on our videos. But yeah, I feel good. So then, depending on what goes down this week, we are going to. Scary dinosaurs. <laughs> Say, that's funny, guys. Funny, guys. Depending on how Jared's work schedule goes next week, we'd like to start trying to find the hallway and the outside of the hallway and the outside of the bathroom. Now that electrical's done. Yeah, and then the, behind the hallway ceiling too would be really nice. But other than that, I think we're gonna try really hard to just finish the kitchen 100% paint, tile, backsplash, everything, and then just tarp everything off so it doesn't get damaged. Truth. And kind of keep it under wraps so it feels new when we unopen it. We should put a big red bow on it. Ooh. And next week, don't be expecting all sorts of progress because my grandparents are moving. So on the weekend, we're going to go spend the night and we're going to help them move. So you'll see some footage of that, I'm sure. But and then we're gonna have not a, a lot going, of progress on the house. But have a go, going away party for some of our friends who are moving out of state. And so that, that'll be our priority for the weekend oh, next week. We might you. still get a couple things done, but um, not too high of hopes for that. But uh, thank you guys so much for keeping in touch and following us along this way. I know, I'm sure it's difficult because the videos aren't like the awesomest, but hopefully we'll get better. And most, so, the most awesome. So thanks for hanging in there with us. But most importantly, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.